going to put a rope on this, but we've got a, the wind starting to pick up and I don't want to waste any more time and it's favorable. It, has, it is blowing the way we want to go. So we've got the house right there, which is really close. And we've got this tree right here that we put down. We don't want to fall on top of that and make a big mess. So we're going to try to very carefully lay it here between that little fence there and the, uh, and the tree we have down. And there's the tree. Stop worrying now. <laughs> oh goodness, Eric, what did I do here? Oh, oh I knew it. <laughs> the whole day is for naught. Is that our, we knocked one picket loose, but we didn't pick, I think that could be repaired. Two pickets. <laughs> oh, two pickets fell oh, off. Three. No, they were like that when we got here. They might have been like that. Okay, so Eric's gonna take down the final tree. This is a 24 inch Doug fir. And you're gonna do it with a 20 inch bar, no problem, right? You got it. We're already committed now, just come on down to here and then we'll just trim it up a little bit on the bottom. Okay. That's not a problem. You're good. Pull out, pull out. <laughs> Nicely done. So we've got the, the first log all bucked up into 12, came out to 12s and 8s. Uh, this is our biggest one and it's as you, as you can see here it's really straight and we're going to need some 16s so not having the tractor here i'm not sure if i can pull a 16 footer so I'll, i'm gonna i'm gonna take a chance and hopefully we can so we'll buck this to 16 6 and see if we can't yard it out of here it's pretty ch pretty big chunk of wood So this is our biggest log and we got uh, a 16, a 12, and two eights out of it. Just about, came out just about perfect. So the, other, uh, the thing that I'm not sure on is if we're going to be able to pull a 16. Jack, what do you think? Well, about what? We're going to be able to pull a 16 footer with a truck? Uh, hopefully, two trucks. All right, well with the help of the, the uh, yellow Jeep hood, we've seen that in old, old videos. Uh, it's working pretty good, not right. tearing up the yard. So do you see how Eric's got that hood placed in there, kind of at an angle, Jack? Mm -hmm. You stuff it down in there at an angle, like this, here, and you pull it a little bit further up. Oh, one second there, Eric. Like this here. Now watch what he does. If you're really clever, you'd hide your cable underneath there so he would have rolled on top of that as that well. That would be good. Uh, you could also rotate that far end around. So if you're just joining us, uh, we use the uh, just use the old Jeep hood uh, to help skid the log so that the front end doesn't dig into the ground and make a big mess of the yard. So uh, these guys are setting the choker here, and then we'll uh, give it a yank. So it doesn't come unhooked. And lay it on the ground, and then go ahead and jump in. I'm going to have you uh, run drive the truck. Slide your hands. Go ahead up. Keep going up about 20 feet before you lay the cable down. 
Now you can lay it down and it won't come unhooked. All right, jump in the truck. Low range four wheel drive. And now once you committed, once you start going, you don't want to stop because if you stop, you'll lose your momentum and you might not be able to pull the log. So do a nice, even, steady speed. Look over your shoulder and stop before you hit the tree. Okay. Go slow till the cable comes tight. Very, very slow. Remember what happened to James May on Top Gear when that cable came tight? Mm -hmm. You don't want that to happen to Eric. There you go. As soon as it comes tight, now start increasing the power. And once you start going, don't stop. Tell me what I'm going to hit. Yep, look over your shoulder. Go. Jack, mm -hmm. don't engage the brake until the chain is done spinning. Okay. I thought that you could do that so you could move on quicker. You can if you want to break it. Okay, I didn't realize that's what it would do. A lot to learn when you're 13, huh, Eric? I'm still learning. A lot to learn. So Jack, can you grab a log to brace us up with? Let's uh, hook up our hood and we'll get the next piece out. We got another eight. Got the whole family involved, Don. Yeah. You gotta keep keep warm for the winter with this wood. I know. It is exciting to think about filling the shed back up. So it's always easier to roll downhill, Jack. So put that in there like this here, and then what I typically do is I'll, I'll lay the cable down there as well, so you can kind of get that two birds with one stone. Make it big, put it down there, like that. Okay, roll ahead and roll it over there. Okay. You work with your partner, then he can lasso it under. We're going to roll downhill, not uphill. Which means I have to grab this and then pull down, right? It means you have to remember how I showed you to use it and to replicate that. Like this? Grab the cant with your hand. Nope. Put it horizontally and you're going to throw it and lock that in there. There you go. And roll it over the cable. Going, put your back into it. Have your partner right there. Have your partner mind that choker. You see, you got to work smart. This stuff is all so heavy and so labor intensive. You have to really be clever and, and be efficient when you do something. Try to make it accomplish two things at one time. So, Jack's going to slowly bring the slack up there. So now we're going to attempt uh, a 12 footer, actually 13. Uh, it's starting to get pretty big, so it's going to be really important for Jack to pull straight and evenly so that we can keep it going. Once, once you get it moving, you can usually pull it pretty good, but if it gets stuck or hung up on something, then you're, you're in trouble.
surprisingly well. Really? Yeah. It's very slippery. It really works great. We want it definitely on the bottom. Definitely on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, because if it's... I was going to say, I think not on the top. If we put it on the top, what it's going to do is as he pulls it, it's going to roll to the left yeah. and it's going to, you know, just give us problems. Who knows what it's going to do. Totally awesome. Best use of a Jeep I've seen. <laughs> Finally something useful. All right. The TJ. Oh, yeah, Jeep. Yeah. Oh, that didn't, didn't do it any good, did it? <laughs> I don't think it's good. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it wasn't a French car, it would have given up a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> 